There was a time, seems like just a few weeks ago, when the computer mouse ruled the tech navigation world. Then innovators discovered we have all these fingers, so we started using them on touch screens and pads. But soon, your digits can move on from those touchy devices. Your fingers can stray because of a touch screen from a spray. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. When it comes to computer touchscreen technology, the surfaces used are usually small, flat, and square or rectangular. But we know the world isn't just flat or box-like. It's filled with things that come in all shapes and sizes. Unfortunately, cramming touch-sensing electronics into irregular-shaped objects is complex and expensive. Well, now there's an unbelievably simple way to turn anything into a touchscreen. Electric is a technique. It's a technique for allowing us to put touch sensitive skins on pretty much any object. I traveled to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and Carnegie Mellon University to meet associate professor Chris Harrison, who led a team of grad students in developing electric, spelled T-R-I-C-K, for a reason. So how do you create a touch sensitive screen? There's a number of different things that we can do that has that conductive property. It could just be these sheets. These are carbon impregnated sheets of plastic. And we can also uh, just get like a spray can. So in this case, let's grab a sheet here. You know, this can be basically put onto anything. So you could add this as like a coating in, a, in your house or on a toy. And it's the carbon that has the conductive properties, which is the key to all of this. It could be any conductive thing. It could be silver nanoparticles, but carbon happens to be really inexpensive and so makes for a good thing. And that's why all these materials are also black. The first step is to spray conductive coating on an object, then attach electrodes to the side of the desired interactive area. And we send electricity through that at very low voltage. And when you touch, it changes how the electricity flows in that skin such that we can figure out where you must be touching on the surface of that object. These are our electrodes around the periphery, around the edge of this square. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing in the software is we're measuring between all the pairs, so this one versus this one, this one versus this one, but we're doing all the pairs, and you might imagine it looks like a web okay. of measurements. So when I put my finger down, you'll see it's a little bit noisy, but when I put my finger down, you see there's mm -hmm. a big spot where my finger is, and as I move around, it, it tracks my finger. And then we apply additional algorithms to this raw signal yeah. that actually finds and tracks your finger and gives it to applications, saying, huh, a finger clicked this button. Chris and his team began coding oddly shaped geometric objects to test their theory. What you can see on this laptop screen here is when I touch, you'll see it's actually tracking the position on the steering wheel, okay? And not only is the whole steering wheel sensitive, this is software defined. So it could be that when you load your GPS, there's a very different interface here. Maybe you just use this as like a trackpad. Uh -huh. But when it's your music player, you tap anywhere here, it goes to the next song. You tap anywhere here, it's the previous song. Wow. So total flexibility. So you've completely transformed the functionality of this, of this, a surface essentially. Yes. I think the possibilities are really limitless in that I want it on the walls of my living room so I don't have to walk to the light switch to turn off the light. I can touch anywhere in my living room. My whole living room has a light switch and I can dim it. We did one of our demos out of Jell-O. We actually cast a brain, like an anatomical brain out of Jell-O and actually made it an educational prop where students could touch different parts and tell them, you know, this is the hippocampus and stuff like that. In some ways, this is very simple. It's just smart. It is simple. It's a trick, which is why we call it electric.